from people who have never owned an electric car before, there's a lot of concern about how long batteries will last. Heaps of concern. I mean, people are panicking over this. Never mind the fact that pretty much all, all car companies are warranting batteries for eight years, which they don't do for engines. And they're also saying that at the eight year mark, your battery must have 75% capacity or they'll replace the battery. And that would suggest to you that companies are very confident in how good batteries are today. However, there's still the myth out there. The myth is still very perva pervasive that EV batteries don't last very long and you have to replace them after a few years' time. I have read this many times over the past few months, many, many times in the comment sections. Um, you're going to have to replace that, that battery in your EV in a few years' time. It's going to cost you as much as the car. Never buy an electric car. That's a terrible, terrible idea. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and I'll be at the light commercial show this week on Thursday and Friday. I would love to see you there. 50% discount on tickets. I'll put a link to those tickets in the description below. Just to clarify, um, if you get the tickets, I don't actually make any profit on that. After more than 250,000 miles, Ford, the Mustang Mach -E, um, there was one version uh, that has been tested. This, I think this is the longest, basically the, the Mustang Mach -E that's done the most mileage. It's done 250,000 miles and still has 92% battery life. Now, this is not the only car I want to point out. There's other cars that have done similar range to this. Um, I think it's worth pointing out the, the battery degradation in Volkswagen. I, there's actually a, a, an ID3 car with battery degradation similar. A Hyundai Ioniq 5. I'll have a look at those, those in just a moment. When David Blenkel bought a Ford Mustang mach -E for use in his private car, um, actually ride-hailing service, so he's driving it, an, as, driving it as an Uber, he, um, well, why did he buy an EV? He said for stable fuel costs or very cheap fuel, reduced maintenance needs, better uptime, lower total cost of ownership than internal combustion. And in the three years and more than 250,000 miles since, um, the car has clearly outperformed what he believed. He said this, the biggest misconception I encounter is about battery life and range. Then I show them my odometer, 250,000 miles. Those miles were validated by Mustang mach -E chief product engineer, Matthew Gabrielli, who says that Blinkle's use case offers compelling evidence that modern electric vehicles are engineered for exceptional longevity and reliability and that this example provides a clear perspective on long-term electric vehicle ownership. For those of you, yeah, if you want to kind of figure this out, in three years, he had to drive an average of 230 miles every single day. Now, that's assuming he never had a single day off. He drove an average of 230 miles a day, 365 days a year for three years. Obviously, he wouldn't have done that, but there would have been some long mileage days. Some days he must have been driving 500 miles. I mean, this is a huge amount of mileage on a car and it's still driving perfectly well. He's tested it. The battery still has 93% of its original capacity in spite of the fact it has been DC fast charged on many, many occasions. This is similar to a story a uh, recent story just a couple of months ago of a Hyundai Ionic, or Hyundai Ionic 5 that did 360,000 miles right on the original battery. And after 360,000 miles, by the way, this was not a lithium ion phosphate battery, neither was the Ford Mustang Mach-E that uses an NMC, so nickel manganese cobalt battery. The battery pack in the Hyundai Ionic 5, also not lithium ion phosphate, like I said, and it had after 360,000 miles, it had 87% of its original battery life, 87%. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I've personally never owned a car, uh, never owned an internal combustion car that I was able to drive to 360,000 miles without having to replace the engine or do major, major work on it and have it being, become extremely unreliable. So I know there's extreme cases where that's, you know, basically 
there's been internal combustion cars that have lasted a long time, but that's really not the norm. But with an electric car, it is. Looking at the Hyundai's uh, dashboard, you can see that its odometer is sitting at 666,000 kilometers. So that's now 414,000 miles. Um, so now this guy has done just a staggering amount of driving. I don't know how he did this. This is apparently what happened was the first battery failed for this Hyundai at 580,000 kilometers. So 580,000 kilometers and, and Hyundai, they gave, they gave them, him a new battery for nothing, for no cost. So credit to them. This is pretty damn awesome. If you're thinking to yourself, well, this is just two examples. Uh, I mean, there's not many other cars, surely, that would get this kind of you know, longevity. Well, there's actually a Tesla Model S in Southern California that had done 400,000 miles on the odometer, had not had its battery replaced. Uh, it's still going apparently quite well. So there's quite a few older Teslas that have done that kind of range, 400,000 miles. However, there is a Tesla Model 3 that has now done 777,000 kilometers. Well, actually, in as of February, that's what they've done. By now, I'm, I'm going to guess they've done 800,000 kilometers or pretty close to it. So Tesla Model 3, it's done just under 800,000 kilometers, so 500,000 miles, and it's still on its original battery, which is just absolutely wild. Now, that car has been followed for quite a while now. So that car has been followed by I Like Piano Black and some other Tesla enthusiasts. And it's pretty good evidence that this car is not fake. It's actually a real car that's done that distance. There's also another car, another Tesla Model 3 that's done 370,000 miles, still on the original battery. And there's one good example of another Tesla, a Tesla Model 3 that's actually done, I believe, about 370,000 miles. It's actually been supercharged apparently more than 2,500 times. So DC supercharged, fast supercharging speeds, more than 2,500 times. And the range has gone down as a result. The max range is now 340 kilometers. Its original battery capacity was about 70 kilowatt hours. It's now at 50 kilowatt hours. So battery degradation is probably about 30% on that battery, which is, I think, considering it's done 594,000 kilometers on the same original battery, that's, um, that's pretty damn amazing. So as you can see, it doesn't really seem to matter all that much anymore which car brand you buy. I mean, if you buy an old Nissan Leaf, it will be an issue probably. But modern EV batteries last far longer than what the media tell us, than what um, anti-EV haters tell us, or just than what people who don't know anything about electric cars seem to believe. I think um, if you can share this video, that would be awesome, because hopefully we can get rid of that myth, get rid of this really insane and clearly completely wrong myth that EV batteries don't last very long. There's also the fact as well that we should recognize, which is that EV, modern EV batteries can often be fixed quite easily. Often there's just one or two cells that might have an issue. When you replace those, the entire battery pack is basically can be renewed. So it's very common that that happens. In addition to that, if an EV battery pack does some eventually wear out, which often which to be honest, usually does not happen in the car itself, but usually it might happen later on if the battery is used to some other purpose, say if charging your house or something like that. But eventually if it does wear out, then batteries are recycled. They're not just thrown into the way, not just thrown into the rubbish, they're actually recycled and used again. It's a circular economy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.